Hey everyone, I thought I'd make a quick video just to show um, an update that I've done to my controllers for this uh, season, 2018. So this board is the uh, Falcon, it's the F16 V2, so it's a couple of years old now, but uh, still going strong. Um, it's a 16 output board, but uh, has the ability to be able to um, extend, if you like, the distance of uh, some of the outputs. Um, I uh, needed to do that this year because some of the um, new elements that I'm putting out in my yard, which are some 5 volt candy canes, will probably suffer some uh, voltage drop and data loss. Um, this, this controller um, and box sits up um, near my front door under the uh, under the front porch um, and it's a bit of distance out to the to the front yard it's a it's a good five to ten meters depending on um, which end I'm um, feeding data into my props so uh, to try and overcome that this year and so far so good it's tested out um, well here in the man cave the real test will be uh, actually deploying it out in the yard but what I've done this year is I've uh, included a um, differential receiver now this, uh, this Falcon board, the F16, um, this is the V2 and I believe it's the same for the V3 as well, but what you can do is you can actually put four ports onto one differential receiver um, without having to run an additional expansion board. And the way you can do that is actually running um, a cat cable out of the DMX1 output um, so those that are familiar with this board, you can see that there's actually four um, DMX outputs um, and DMX1 actually broadcasts across all four outputs um, if left in its um, uh, normal state or, or factory default, if you will. Um, but you can tweak it a bit. So uh, I've got a cat cable uh, I think it's about seven or eight meters long uh, that will come out of DMX1 uh, and then that goes into uh, this new uh, secondary box that I'm, I've just uh, completed. Uh, in here, this uh, the other end of the Cat6 cable will go into this four port. Sorry, I'll try and get out of the light. Uh, this four port uh, differential receiver. Uh, it requires 5 or 12 volts power, so what I've got is is a 5 volt uh, meanwhile pa uh, power supply. So that's powering this. I've also got a Falcon F8 distro um, for power fusing. Uh, so this board is, is fused and protected, um, but I'm ov obviously taking the opportunity to have this 5 volt PSU as power injection points. Um, which will power my 5 volt um, pixel nodes for my candy canes, my Boscoia candy canes. Um, so what I've got here is I've actually only got three outputs um, uh, wired in at the moment, but I've actually only got set up in the controller two of these outputs. Now when you connect uh, a differential receiver directly to um, the Falcon board without the expansion board, what it does is it takes the last four outputs, so 13, 14, 15, and 16, um, and they're the four outputs that you're allowed to use um, further away, basically. So it's not um, increasing the number of outputs that this board can handle. All it's doing is it's basically saying, disable these four ports right here. If you plugged in anything to them, they probably won't work. I'm pretty sure they won't work but it's diverting the data from those four ports into the DMX1, down the Cat5 cable, uh, into this board, and these are uh, your outputs of 13, 14, 15, and 16. Um, as I mentioned, I'm only using two outputs on here. One of them goes out and will feed my uh, 12 volt arches. Excuse the mess. Um, I'm sure most people's sheds look like this at the moment. Um, they're 12 volt strip, uh, my arches, don't look like arches now, but they will. Uh, and that then feeds into my 12 volt module core flute Coro stars that I made. So that's output 13. 
output 14 from this board, I've got going to uh, the Boscoyo candy canes, of which there's six of them. So, and they're all daisy chained, one, two, three, four in the middle, five, and then six. Uh, just a quick note on power injection. What I noticed is I power injected at the end here using a, a T piece. I injected at the start, um, and I was getting a lot of flickering uh, on most of the candy canes. So I've put in a third power injection point uh, in the middle, uh, and that got rid of most of the flickering, um, but what I found was on bright whites and sometimes on reds and yellows, uh, I was still getting a little bit of flicker. Um, but what I've done is I've reduced the brightness of the model in X lights down to about 40%. And given these are going to be right out the front, um, I don't actually need them to be 100% brightness um, because people who are going to be standing on the front lawn will... Uh, we'll see them because they're going to be uh, up closer to them anyway, so they don't need to be uh, blaring bright. Uh, and as a result of reducing that brightness of the model from 100 down to 40%, I get zero flickering uh, issues at all. So uh, these are the 48 pixel node uh, canes, and I've got six of them. So just as a, a point of reference, six by 48 nodes at 5 volts, um, requires minimum three points of power injection, assuming that you are actually going to reduce the brightness of the um, uh, model in X lights. Um, if you had that um, model up higher at uh, you know 80 or 100 percent, you probably would need at least one more power injection point along the chain somewhere um, to help combat um, that flicker power issue. Um, oh, that's uh, another thing I wanted to mention. Uh, so uh, I've only used two outputs out of the four available that I've can I've rerouted, if you like, down to the differential receiver. But I've only enabled two of those outputs, and what that means is I can actually still use out DMX outputs three and four um, from the main board as actual DMX signals. And as a result, uh, DMX three, so it's, it's one, two, three, and then four. So you notice I've got something plugged into DMX three, and that is actually going to a uh, old school three pin Canon XLR, um, cable and that's going to my moving heads. I've just got one here as a as a test. Um, there's a mini moving heads that I have out in the front of the show which project back onto the house um, and as a result of only selecting and utilizing two of the outputs of this receiver it means that it's not actually um, sending all the pixel data to uh, DMX 3 and 4 ports. Uh, which means I can still use DMX3 port because um, DMX4 is shoved up against the box. I can't use that. Uh, but DMX3 means that I can still run my DMX signals to my moving heads. So as a quick example of what that looks like, here's a song that utilizes everything. So you can see all the pixels, 12 volt, 5 volt, and DMX, old school, for their moving head, are all working in harmony. Uh, I hope you found this interesting. Uh, if anyone's picked up any wrong information I've said, please uh, comment and let me know. I hope this helps. Thanks.